Hey guys, this is Evan from Tech Kings here with another video review. And today we're going to take a look at the ASUS PA249Q ProArt Series Professional Monitor. We'll break it open, show you what's inside, take a look at its features, its performance, and everything else you should need to know to determine if it's right for you. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So before we break into the box, let's first take a look at what Asus thought would be important enough to put on the box. So the first thing we see here, it says Adobe RGB, which means that this monitor will be able to display 99% of the Adobe RGB color gamut and 100% of the sRGB color gamut. For those who aren't already familiar with what that means, I've put a link in the description for you to learn more about it. Next we see it says IPS, which refers to the display technology type. IPS stands for in-plane switching. And for those who aren't familiar with what that means, there's also another link in the description for you to learn more about it. Next we see it says LED, which refers to the backlight technology. LED backlights will be lighter, brighter, lead to a slimmer display, and will also be more energy efficient than other backlight types. 1920 by 1200 refers to the display resolution, which is a 16 by 10 aspect ratio as opposed to the 16 by 9 aspect ratio you've probably grown accustomed to with the HD standard. Next up says color accuracy delta E less than 3, which basically means that this monitor will have very accurate color reproduction across the spectrum, which is a relatively complicated subject which we'll discuss more later in the video. And again, there's a link in the description for you to learn more. The precision factory calibration. Now that's an interesting feature, and it's also a great time saver over how we used to do it in the olden days. And lastly, we have four times USB 3, which means there is a four port USB 3 hub on the monitor. And we'll show you that here in just a moment once we break it out of the box. All right, so let's dig into it. Uh, we'll just open the box up and see what comes included. Oh, thanks. All right, let's uh, go something like this. Yeah, this will work. Oh, that actually worked really well, all right. Turns out, necessary accessory for any unboxing, probably a hammer. All right, so now let's get a uh, look at what we have inside here. Some extra sure obligatory form styrofoam. Get rid of that. And, all right, well. Display comes in the oblong direction with the base already attached. Hey, that's pretty nifty for uh, lack of assembly required. And now, if we zoom in here on the box, first we have your general cables. First one is the USB 3.0 cable to connect your USB 3 hub to your computer. Next is your power cable. And just putting those back. Next up we have VGA, DVI, and finally HDMI. So you have all of your, all of the cables you'll need to connect to any different type of video card, which is great. There's nothing worse than opening your uh, monitor box to find that you need a cable that isn't already included. So that's nice to see they have you covered there. Next thing, we have some low profile cable ties to keep your workspace uh, nice and neat, keep your cable management in check, a software and driver CD, your warranty information, and your standard run of the mill quick start guide. Uh, has pretty much every language you'll ever need. Big flip out. So everyone's covered there as well. And also, this is interesting. Uh, Asus has gone to great lengths to give transparency about their factory pre calibration. And, you know, this is really clean, really neat. Yeah, it's certainly a lot better than how we organize our data here at Tech Kings.
Yes, just cover it in cheese and broil it for 15 minutes. The cat? Oh, geez, we're rolling. Uh, <laughs> okay, anyways, uh, let's take a closer look at the monitor itself, shall we? Just, uh... Okay, uh, so what we see here, uh, we have a relatively thin, even bezel all the way around. Uh, pretty nondescript appearance. Plain, simple, professional. Just what uh, I think Asus was going for here. And if we turn the monitor and look along the right side, here you can see here, we have the four USB 3.0 ports. Now don't let the classy looks of this monitor fool you. It can be quite the circus acrobat as well. Plus 20 degrees of tilt, minus five degrees of tilt, 60 degrees to the right, and 60 degrees of swivel to the left. A full 90 degrees of rotation for landscape viewing. And transforming it back to its original state and turning it to the right, we can see a full 100 millimeters of height adjustment. That's nearly five inches. <laughs> Let's come on back here and take a look at what we have for IO connectivity. All right, so what we see back here is Asus has been nice enough to put uh, these rather large pictures that are really easy to see so you know exactly Oh, I'm sorry, let me move my pipe. Uh, so we can see exactly where all of the, uh, the input-output ports are here. And uh, so what we have here is, um, let's... Okay, I, well, let's just take a look at it from the underside and I'll be able to tell you what they are. First up, we have the USB 3.0 port, VGA, DVI, HDMI, display port, and zooming down to the bottom, we have the power plug and power switch. All right, let's prime the carb, start her up, and see how she runs. Overall, we were really impressed with the color accuracy of the panel. The uncalibrated color accuracy had an average delta E of about 1.6, and the calibrated delta E was about 0.5, which is fantastic. The uniformity of the panel is an important aspect not to be overlooked. Backlight bleeding can cause color variation across the panel, which makes working consistently rather difficult. What we see in this panel, though, is very good backlighting, very little bleed. There's a little bit of bright spots on the corners and edges, but that's usually to be expected. But overall, we are very impressed with how uniform both the colors and the backlighting were. When you're working in front of a screen for long periods of time, screen flicker can be an important factor. We didn't observe any flicker whatsoever at any brightness setting on the monitor, so that's a big plus there. Also, the specs on the Adobe and sRGB color gamuts available were confirmed in our testing as well. We also gave this Sirius Pro monitor a shot at something a little less serious. We fired up Battlefield 3 and tried to take on some noobs. While the visuals and the colors in-game look great, one of the common complaints about IPS displays is its ghosting and this monitor is no exception. As you can see here, there's plenty of blurring and chopping of the lines due to its poor response time. While games fall a little short on this IPS display, your favorite TV shows and movies will work just fine. Because TV and movies are filmed at a lower frame rate, any tearing or ghosting is not nearly as apparent and actually is pretty much invisible. The edges of the monitor are ruled for quick reference while you're working, and all of the other articulating joints are also marked so you can really dial in your setup. In addition to the physical markings on the monitor, ASUS has also included an on-screen overlay. ASUS has also nailed the design of their on-screen menu, and for once I don't feel like I'm learning a new language when I'm trying to use it. There's a simple joystick on the right side, very intuitive, easy to use, quick to flip through all of the options, including the color presets, like the sRGB and Adobe RGB that comes pre-calibrated from the factory, as well as six-axis hue control and full RGB control. <clears throat> as expected with any IPS display, the picture is clear and bright throughout the entire range of viewing angle. Evan had to uh, go out of town. Bye! Overall, the ASUS PA249Q is a fantastic monitor. 
The factory pre-calibration was one of the best we've ever seen out of the box. We also see the vibrant colors, high aspect ratios, and wide viewing angles that we would come to expect from IPS displays. The overall color accuracy and panel uniformity was also great. But if you're looking for your work monitor to also be your gaming monitor, this one probably isn't right for you. Of course, all of this goodness has a price. And in this case, it's a hefty $540. But then again, this isn't unexpected when compared to other factory pre-calibrated professional displays. This monitor is best suited for a professional who doesn't want to bother with calibration out of the box. It comes out of the box with some of the best color accuracy and panel uniformity of any monitor we've tested. So if you're looking for a top of the line monitor, the PA249Q might be just what you're looking for. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, or just want to tell us how weird we are, feel free to hit us up on the comment form below. Be sure to like the video and subscribe for more from Tech Kings in the future.